<laughs> so the White House is finally taking AI seriously, folks. It's like a parent realizing their kid can do more than finger paint and eat glue. Mm. Mm. Biden and Harris pulled in Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, to discuss AI's fundamental responsibility. Uh, AI, the only child that gets a lesson on responsibility before it's even born. Uncontrolled AI might threaten jobs, increase fraud risks, and infringe on privacy. You know, because Facebook already set the privacy bar so high. <sighs> so the U.S. government is investing $140 million in seven AI research institutes, and that they'll treat AI like a celebrity with their ethical, trustworthy, responsible growth plan. <laughs> And AI development is mostly done by the private sector. It's like tech companies are AI's rich uncles, just sending it amazing birthday gifts every year. DEFCON 31, a cybersecurity conference, will publicly evaluate the AI systems from OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, and Stability AI. And boom, transparency. Let's show it off your AI child's report card to the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Biden, an AI enthusiast himself, tells CEOs to minimize AI risks on people, society, and national security. Talk about being an overly protective parent. <sighs> Kamala Harris acknowledges generative AI's risks and opportunities, reminding us technology can be a double-edged sword, like a self-driving car that plays Nickelback. In response to the concerns, the Office of Management and Budget, the government's new AI babysitter, will release draft guidance for U.S. government AI use. <laughs> <laughs> Last October, the White House proposed an AI Bill of Rights calling for safety regulations on AI. It's like demanding safety goggles for the internet. Or maybe, better yet, a seatbelt for Facebook. Although consumer rights advocate Robert Weissman considers the White House's approach a useful step, he suggests a moratorium on new AI technologies. <gasps> That's like telling a kid they can't play with their toys until they hit a specific age. <laughs> Closing thoughts. We're in an AI evolution, and AI developers know the risks. We can only hope that, unlike other tech advances, they won't just toss us into the deep end of the pool with floaties. <sighs> this podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures.